a number one is one that you'd be able to recite at least one verse. There's some people that can recite, recite multiple verses. Multiple, multiple, multiple. Albums upon albums upon albums. You know, there's a lot of hip hop aficionados out there. I'm not one, okay? My first love, movie scores, okay? I can talk composers all day. Hip hop became more of a third love, third or fourth, because I was late in the game. I didn't get into hip hop until like 1990, okay? So <clears throat> a little different for me. There's cats that can literally recite almost every verse from every MC ever, you know what I mean? That's not me. I even worked for a hip hop station. You would think that, you know, that knowledge would be, no, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. But my number one, oh, I can recite a verse for my number one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. And my number one is, well, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it's, I've never heard it to be someone else's number one. My number one, I don't know who chooses this person as a number one. I don't even think he's in the top 10 for most people or top five. Because the ones that I hear are pretty common. You'll hear Jay-Z, Nas. You'll hear Kendrick. You'll hear Drake. You'll hear Biggie, Pac, Rakim. Even in some cases, KRS, Eminem. You know, you can go down the list. There's... There's a lot to choose from now because the music has been around for a long time and it's changed, okay? Because the hip hop between 88 and 98 versus 98 and 2008, different ball game. Or between 08 and 2018, totally different ball game, right? The music has evolved, it's changed, it's so, <clears throat> but yet and still, my number one has been my number one going all the way back. So let me go ahead on and recite that verse for you. Let's see if you can figure out who it is. And some of you will get it. <sighs> I'm not a foolish guy. Don't even feel like drinking or even getting high because all that's gonna do really is accelerate. The anxieties I wish I could alleviate. But wait, I've been through a whole lot of other shit before so I ought to be able to withstand some more. But I'm sweating though. My eyes are turning red and yo, I'm ready to lose my mind, but instead I use my mind. I put down the knife and take the bullets out my nine. My only crime was that I'm too damn kind. And now some scandalous motherfuckers want to take what's mine, but they can't take the respect that I've earned in my lifetime. And you know, they'll never stop the furious force of my rhymes. So like they say, every dog has its day. And like they say, God works in mysterious ways. So I pray, remembering the days of my youth as I prepare to meet my moment of truth. <laughs> 